Now first we open the movie, show the properties of the movie, here we see the video track. We select a, a range here where we would like to insert the text. Okay, here's the text in the editor. We copy it to the clipboard and in QuickTime we do an add to selection and scale. And you see, the text is inserted as a separate track to the movie. Okay, this is not very nice here, it's just a black track, but we could easily modify it here in transparency. We put it uh, to blend, we set offset to zero, so we have here a nice text box within the movie, and you see, about one second in duration, just as we set the time range. Okay. Now uh, here's a demonstration what you can do with uh, extract. You can export it and modify it with the editor, and you can extend uh, um, the, uh, the track, replace the text, modify the, the uh, font the size of the font, whatever you, you like. So we just modify text and save it again. Open the file in quick time, select the capture, yeah. as you see. Okay, this, this is uh, just for illustration, but we can continue with Text bubbles. Okay, uh, we would like to insert a text bubble with a specific text. So we, we start Omni Gravel and we build our bubble with text. Export it to um, image. Yeah. The transparency is very important. See. Okay, now we have the, the image file. We drag it to the movie and we have a separate video track here. Okay, forget the video track. Uh, it's just a uh, um, a reference track, but we now select the time range here in the movie where we would like to add our bubble. So we select the reference track, we add to selection and scale, and you see we have a new video track with a bubble. So we set up transparency to alpha yeah. and we move the bubble I have this wrong so we set the X offset to 200 and you see the bubble is moved and you can put it wherever you like and it's, it just lasts for about one and a half seconds and then it disappears again just as we have set with the time range since we have the um, reference track in the movie, we can easily add another video track with the same bubble. Okay. And this is just about half a second at the beginning of the movie. Okay, the reference track is not uh, required, so we delete it. And voila, we have our sample screencast. And the screencast consists of a text bubble and a text box. See here the second text bubble, the text box, and at the beginning, the first bubble.